Hey guys, it's Lisa here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing all of you how to customize the background of your Windows or Mac computer. So what I had done here is I created my custom background that I wanted for my desktop in Google Slides. I, um, because I'm teaching from home right now due to COVID, I wanted to make sure that both aspects of my life were included. So I made kind of half of my screen like my home and then half of it like my working office from home and I put shelves up on the wall so that I have a place to house the icons and the applications and software that I'm using for both. So this is what I came up with. All I did was I just went up to file. I went to download and I downloaded it as a PNG. This way it would maintain more of the image quality rather than a JPEG. And from there, I just simply went to my home screen here. I right clicked, go to personalize. Okay, and then here is background. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a picture. So I'm going to go to browse because it's saved on my computer. Okay, I'm gonna click the option here. You see it changed it. Okay, another thing that you can do if you want is to go to colors. As you can see, a lot of my, my task bars are popping up in pink. So I just scroll down and I have a lot of different color options here, which I absolutely love. So I'm gonna keep the pink because I do love it. Okay. And if you look here on my desktop, you'll see now all of my icons are on my shelves. Uh, some of them have like titles underneath. If you're interested in figuring out how to get those off of yours, simply watch my video entitled uh, Customize Icons for Your Desktop uh, and you can too have the same thing. Now, if you have a Mac, it's gonna be a little different, okay? And I have, the instructions on how to do it on a Mac computer here. So you're just gonna to go to your Apple menu and go to your system preferences. From there, click the desktop and screensaver. And then all you have to do is from the desktop pane, select the folder of the images on the left, and then click the image on the right to change your desktop picture. And it's as simple as that. You too can have a customized either Bitmoji or non-Bitmoji desktop for your Apple or your Windows computer. So I hope that this video helped all of you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss my future videos. Take care, everyone.